Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universe Alice 4, the Ulster Feeding Simulator. So we have three provinces after this one that to feed to Ulster here, and then we can start annexing them. Unfortunately, we were not able to feed them Ayrshire without any kind of penalty. Uh, that would have been too much aggressive expansion. I did notice we got the good mission to vassalize Scotland. I'm going to take it. Even though we have a, a truce for, like, ten years. Even more. Um, 79, so 14 years. Uh, that should be enough time to bleed off a lot of aggressive expansion um, to potentially uh, take care of Norway, core my provinces, all that stuff. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the potential coalition again. Scotland, Burgundy, Provence... Um, I think actually improving my relation with Scotland would not be a bad idea. Yeah. Um, we'll do that. This is not important right now. Now, uh, so what was the list? Scotland, I have a truce with. That's not. That's not important. Um, Provence, working on that. Desmond doesn't matter. Clan Ricard doesn't really matter. Aachen, Cleves, and Trier. Yes. Aachen. And Trier and Cleves. Cleves is here. Yes. It's a good sign, actually, now, knowing that they can claim my provinces means I can claim theirs! Ha <laughs> ha! Orkney, Lothian, and you. At one point, I had a dude to improve my stuff, but I don't have him anymore. Oh, no, I do have the unrest guy. Do you have an unrest modifier? Did I piss a bunch of people off? No expiration date. What? Oh, that, that's the Papal Influence, right? Uh, it is... I don't have one. Okay. Uh, it might just be overextension and stuff. War exhaustion. Only a slight, little bit of war exhaustion, but it's not going down. Dudes have some rebels. So the reason I picked up that Vassalize Scotland is because I'll still have it if they grow big enough that I can't Vassalize them. Um, and then, because it has the set cost, I think I'll be able to Vassalize them no matter what. That's enough. Let's go for Cleves. And we'll get a tick down of AE at the end of the year. Should be good. There we go. Speaking of hope... Uh, that's kind of scattershot. Let's just save our points now. Um, I don't anticipate requiring nor wanting to become the papal controller. Uh, ooh. Let's think about this. A level 3 theologian is exactly the kind of thing I need. I don't even know why I'm thinking about it. So that's 76... No, no, no. What am I talking about? That'd be 78. Yellow! Ugh. If I if I have uh, problems with it, I'll just revoke a province. I may, in fact, do that now to prevent it. I don't know if I can do that while I'm at war, though. Maybe it would be worth it right now. I'm actually getting Renaissance here. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Uh, I had a thought and then it escaped my brain. Oh yeah, I lost a thing because I didn't have the uh, royal marriage with um, 
with Aragon anymore. I could probably vassalize this guy if I wish. Let's turn some trade power to Genoa. He would accept vassalization. The reason to do this is so that I'm not expanding in the, and I can't claim his province and I can expand a little bit into the empire with this guy. Uh, and that would put me back at six. I vas I feed Ulster, integrate them, and then vassalize Scotland, and I would still be at six. Okay. Yeah, that seems okay. Uh, let's take a look at our new guy. So this guy costs us 4.5 ducats compared to the guy we currently have, who costs us 4 ducats. So this guy's just plain better. And he gives me more points, which is obviously good. Ah, and I will focus Diplo now, or uh, that now. I think I got that at the beginning of the year, but uh, I wasn't paying attention to it. Okay, that should probably be enough at the end of the year to, um, I'm down to zero manpower again. But that was not just the guy I, okay, it wasn't. I would have been so mad if it was the guy I just recruited. Eh? Should I? Hmm. It's 12% more expensive. It's an important tech. Um. I'll wait a little while. Uh, I'll at least wait until I have the, um, the tech cheapening idea. Uh, if I can. And if not, I'll, I'll actually just spend uh, some points to uh, increase London. Alright, so let's take a look at what this looks like now. Alright. Uh, Clan Ricard. Desmond. Desmond won't exist. Let's uh, let's go ahead and spend a, a month locating Clan Ricard about this. What? Why would I bother doing that? My vassal has already claimed his land. Hmm. Yeah, this goes to them. Yes, lots of money. Made a ton of money. Can't do any of this stuff because he won't exist. Bada bing, bada boom. And he should start coring this immediately. All right. And I'll, I'll go ahead and start improving relations with uh, with these guys just to make sure they don't go into a coalition. Ho oh, ho ho ho! You just signed your death warrant, buddy. Why the hell would you do that? Unfortunately, I can't use the vassalization. Uh, I could pull Brittany into the war if I do that. Speaking of which, I have a metric boatload of money. Probably most of that money is going to reinforcement, if I had to guess. No. Um. Oh, my ships. Shoot here. For now, you can go back to the continent. Who knows if I can leverage a war with Burgundy. The, my main fear at the moment is actually that uh, Scotland allies Burgundy. That would make things much more complicated for me. Um, although with France around, it doesn't seem like it should be that dangerous. Uh, it is a little bit more dangerous than you may expect it to be.
good. Alright. Of course, coming along quick. Diplos are lazy as hell. Now, you might think, Fly MacGuffin, just get a better ally. Like, improve, like, support the independence of Sweden and get them as an ally. That actually does sound like a good idea. Um, but. But. What I might be able to do is I might be able to declare war on Denmark, and since they are disloyal. Are they disloyal? Yeah, they're disloyal. They wouldn't fight me. And then they would think that they're stronger than they are. They're only allied to stupid people. Ooh. Gallery, you say? Gallery who is allied to stupid people, you say? Unfortunately, I can't get a claim on it yet. Gallery's a good province. I can't afford the aggressive expansion right now, but, um, yeah. Yes, let's start, uh... Do I have an insult? I need an insult. Let's... Insult to you. And then... Let's build a spy network to claim this province from Norway. That should be very little aggressive expansion for this and these. Um, the only reason I talk about Bergen just is because it's a, uh, a center uh, a center of trade. I think it's a center of trade for North Sea. And that's something I'm going to be trying to funnel in. Uh, Denmark. Also because it's my rival. Having uh, wars against rivals is optimal. Okay, so we can build shipyards now. I think I do want to do that. Uh, oh, no, I can't. Uh, I, it shows up because I have a province with one, I believe. The AI is always takes longer to get to the um, admin techs. Because they're spending points on um, coring. Oh, speaking of that state stuff, can I actually get the, um, when can I get the admin points? 72. That's not too far away. Yeah. Seed Bourgeois to palatinate. Mets to palatinate. Palatinate. Alright. Well, France does have a claim on this. These are, well, Provence is a valuable province. This one is not. We, we have to wait. We can't, we can't, we can't go that hard at least this sort of thing. Platinet's getting pretty strong. I think we have to wait at least a couple of years. We got our core. We can make a state the lowlands. I don't think that's necessary right now. It's got too much um, too much autonomy to be worth doing that. Rather, th this reduces the autonomy when you make it a state, but uh, I'm doing an idea that requires uh, diplo points in. Once I vassalize Scotland, I might just give it back to them. <laughs> so, and there's no reason to do that. Okay. Just ally with Leinster. Do you have a claim on Leinster? Nope. We'll at least wait until I have a claim on Leinster, and then we can take both provinces. Let's grow Ulster as big and strong as possible. 
and then integrate him. I can actually like start integrating him now. That's not necessary anymore. Um, I'll look at it to see how much it's going to cost, but I shouldn't do that until the um, the thing runs out. Uh, my uh, annexed vassal thing, Just so it doesn't take a, a buttload of time. It runs out in two years. That will cost me 384, so it'll take me a little bit of time. A little bit of time. I'm not too worried about it. One of the nice things about being behind as far as the institutions go is that your cap is higher. Um, so if you're saving up for other stuff, it, it could be to your advantage to do that. Ooh, one province. It's not London. What's the speed here? Nearby friendly province. Adjacent provinces. Renaissance. European five developed province post 1500. We still got 33 years for that. This is, yeah, this has got Renaissance. Does that count for Kent? Yeah, Kent's getting it pretty quickly. Okay, we'll have it. We'll have it in a little while. Okay. Alright, you. Um. Yes, what this also, with having this as a, uh, a vassal would also let me do is it will let me give him provinces in Denmark. Um, how much would it cost to do this? Not very much. Okay. I don't need to be improving relations with him anymore, though. And I don't need to improve relations with him yet. So let's go ahead and improve relations with people who are people who don't like me. Oh, uh, he had to give this province back. That's hilarious. He didn't have to give this one back because it's not in the Empire. Or... He did? He didn't? He had to give Mets back, though. That's really bad for him. Yeah, this would cost me 90 more dip, 90 more admin points that I'm not willing to spend at the moment. Claim Leinster. Do it. Just claim that one. So I guess there's only one province more for him to claim. I guess he can claim Inverness. Shouldn't do that, though. All right got enough. We've had more than enough to claim that. We can't do this one. Nope. But we can do this. Boom. Now let's check your alliances. Mecklenburg and Gelry. Sweden and Norway. Sweden is still disloyal. Independence is guaranteed by Lithuania. Yeah. Um. There's no reason to think about this while it's paused. There's no reason to do that either. Uh. Yes, you have negative relations with us. I'm going to have to start thinking about these guys up here, um, because they will get, uh, they will get aggressive expansion if I expand into Scandinavia. Now, the fact that I don't have a claim on this province doesn't mean I can't take it. And one of the best things to do is actually to take this province and then wait for Denmark to 
integrate Norway, and then release Norway yourself. <laughs> like with the, the five or six provinces that you have. And then, like, um, feed the provinces that Denmark integrated from Norway back into Norway. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, we have a bunch of money here. How much is this going to cost? It's not going to tell me, is it? I should save the money for this. Yeah. This will be done in... Fourteen seventy one. Okay, so four years. And London will be done later than that, so. Oh, this will be done even sooner. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Yeah, we got pretty good we got pretty good spread here. Maybe it was a little premature to be taking that uh, idea. Oh well. Make a lot of money. Let's uh, consider what we want to get a better Diplo rep. It's great. I don't have enough money quite for that. Uh, if I had the um, I'm getting penalty for this. If I had the, uh, um, I lost it. Oh man, oh man, again, wow. Yeah. If I had the, uh, idea, um, thing from being, uh, Protestant, that would be quite good. Or, uh, yes, the statesman, that's what I was thinking of. If I had the uh, nobles, I would certainly think about taking that. Alright, um... I can certainly afford to do this. So I probably should... Uh, Diplo support's not until 74. And this isn't until 72. It's rather odd that it's this one is sooner. I must have had some reason to want to do that. In any case, uh, I may as well just put it to seventy. I can't get it high enough that the taking the money is worth it at the moment, so I'll save that for when I can actually do good. Oh no! My queen died! So now we are William the Third of Lancaster. And he has risen to the ro the throne of France. He's he's balanced as the king of France. How, well, how good of him? Oh, and France started building up the troops. Good. So we lost the stability. No big deal. Um, it does increase the provincial unrest a little bit, but once those cores finish, it's not going to be a big deal. Um, I don't think we lost the ability to do anything. Our king is pretty good. Uh, he's got the autonomy change. Get another one of these 10 years. Um, I do not have an heir, so the War of the Roses is going to start ticking again. Uh, did I have any royal marriages that I started? see. Well, that was theirs. Yeah. Yeah, this. Okay. Let's get a... Let's get a consort from Castile. Or at least attempt to do so. We got a new queen consort. It's good to it. Good, good. Let's get... Uh, okay, apparently that was that way as well. Portugal. I think it's time to start uh, oh, thinking about breaking the royal ties with Portugal. Let's see, Portugal, Castile, Austria. 
interesting that Ulster is not on that list. But I do have royal ties with them. Um. Yes. Royal marriage alliance, royal marriage alliance. Yes, okay. Obviously, I have a royal marriage with myself. Uh. Da, da, da. Start. You allied with Denmark. You're allied with Denmark, so I don't care. Wow, the Queen's Consort is a tactical genius. Relations with this guy. And this guy. Yep. Yeah, we may need to sit around. Um, this again? Um, because I actually have that, let's, uh, let's take that. Let's take the manpower. It's bad, but, uh, it's not that bad. Uh, when can I do this? Oh, boy. Essex is one development away from having 20. Should give them another boost to this. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I also built a build a church there, so. All right, so War of the Roses, right? It's gonna tick up once per year, and is only stopped by me having an heir. Yeah. Having a Regency Council or being currently in a disaster. Um, I can increase my stability, but uh, that's hardly something I want to be doing right now. Alright. I'll Lubeck somebody that I might want to increase my relations with. So I can just sit around and wait, and, uh, burst of administrative thought, wow. Uh, this is from, uh, this is from having, uh, uh innovative. Our country's thinkers, encouraged by the open-minded stance of our government, are engaged in a burst of thought in the area of administration, asking themselves the question, how can we govern better? 50, 50 points. About halfway to the tech decrease. Why would the Teutonic Order return land? Over. That's dumb. Pomeranian declared war on him, too. That's super dumb. Oh, building a church there doesn't matter because I used military power. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Okay, and the clergy goes down. This could be declared for Novgorod, that's normal. Uh, Denmark doesn't have a king, huh? And he has negative prestige. If the king of Denmark dies right now, he will lose his unions, won't he? I don't think I can see it from there. Oh no, okay. It does. It continues. I thought if they didn't have... Oh, it has negative relations with them, yeah. Okay. It's negative relations with them, not negative prestige. It... Maybe it used to be like that. Foreign context has expired. Austria's embraced the Renaissance. We'll be doing that soon. I hope. I should have taken the, the military tech while it was cheaper, but. Uh... Apparently, people are wafting tobacco smoke across. Oh, these are almost done. Okay. This will be done next year. 
Okay. And get Defender of the Faith. Last time I played as England, I was Protestant Defender of the Faith for the whole game. Nobody even contested it. That hardly seems useful right now, though. Gives a tech penalty. Maybe once I need the, um... The, uh... Although having Protestant Defender of the Faith is super dangerous early on. Because people are highly likely to declare war on Protestant people. Do I want to start messing with this? Do you have a claim here yet? No. I suppose it doesn't really matter. But I would hope that he would have already claimed that. Doesn't Norway already have a claim to this? I guess not. They must have lost the claim. Lost the core. Maybe they told them to. Okay. I will consider this. Um, obviously, I still have a truce. Until the end of the year. The lack of an heir has caused rumors in the court concerning William III's alleged infertility. This is most troubling as there are several nobles waiting in the wings, ready to claim the throne in the death of William III. So now we get even less of a chance of doing that. Okay, so uh, let's wait to the end of the year, and we will end the session for this week. And uh, yeah, next time, I'm just going to keep keep going. Hopefully, uh, Ireland or Ulster will claim this province, just to make it a little cheaper for them. And then I will start annexing them uh, as soon as they have all of the provinces. Uh, my truce with Scotland ends uh, in about 10 years. Um, so we can actually do a war with Denmark and Norway in between that time fairly easily. Uh, France has their claims on Provence. They've got a claim on Burgundy. They've got a claim on Artois, but we probably want that, since I have a claim. I definitely want Picardy for myself. Vlander and Ghent, Holland, Zealand, and Antwerpen are also things that I want. I'm going to the end of the year just because I think it'll... It'll... Perhaps uh, give me these... Uh, by the end of the year. a little bit long. It's fine. That might do it. Now this province is getting it faster, too. Now it'll be in 71. Alright. So now everything's set up for the next thing, except for Ulster not having a claim on Leinster. Uh, Hungary is the paper controller. At least it's not France. All right. Let's call all our diplomats home. Think about what we're going to do. If anybody has a, a better, uh, can think of a better way up to do this expansion, I have a, this a little bit min-maxed. Uh, I'm I must admit, um, just because I'm thinking of moving in one direction, then moving in another direction. I'll have another uh, avenue for war once um, I ha can get into Norway. And Sweden and Denmark a little bit. Denmark is still a little bit problematic for the Empire. And then once I turn on um, Castile and Portugal, I can no not only uh, get better relations with them, but I can get uh, not not uh, I can get provinces from them, um, but I can also start taking over provinces in North Africa. All right, so let's take a look at our 
our progress on the institution. And Co has it. Let's see if that's enough to uh, allow us to buy it. It is. I don't have enough money, so I'm going to take a loan. Actually, how much money is that going to take, really? How much time is that going to take to get that? Uh, well, actually, hey, burgers, I'd like to borrow some money. Um, I'm not going to, to do any more than that. But I can embrace the institution. And there we go. Embrace the Renaissance. I have too many power points, so I will immediately buy the military tech and this this tech here. I have enough money to actually build a shipyard, but I will not do so. And we also got our our tech bonus there from our um, our idea. So we we are good to go with tech for a while. So I will see you next time on Let's Play. Europa Universalis 4, where we uh, probably will s solidify our hold on the Isles and start moving towards Scandinavia.